Good. I'm here with Dr. Peter DeNovo. Um, he is a uh, orthopedic surgeon from Modern Orthopedics in Wayne and soon to be in Paramus, New Jersey. Doc, tell us your story. What's going on? Yeah, so I've, I've been suffering with Achilles tendonitis for like, I guess, like 14 years or so. The last thing that we're going to do is what's called EMTT, Extracorporeal Magnetic Transduction Therapy. So magnetic therapy is the newest piece to what we're utilizing now. That's really pretty cool. Um, what that does is that it sends a magnetic wave that's measured in Tesla, kind of like the same kind of magnetic wave you would have if you're using an MRI. But that Tesla um, and that magnetic wave turns um, tissue, excuse me, it turns magnetic energy into electrical energy as it enters the tissue. And when you enter electrical energy into that area, it changes the porosity, the, the way that cells are able to talk to each other. Um, it opens up the pores a little bit more in those cells and allows the ions to move back and forth. So in essence, you're getting rid of the bad stuff in the cells and bringing in the good stuff. This is our newest treatment. This is called EMTT, and it's a magnetic therapy. And we had talked about this earlier. Basically what it is, is a magnetic wave that goes around in circles. It's measured in Tesla. And when that magnetic wave hits tissue, it changes it into electrical, an electrical wave. Um, the interesting thing is that when you put it on the person's lower extremity or even on their hand, they don't really feel it. So what I like to do is have patients see what it really feels on the larger joint. So in this case, we're gonna do it on a joint that Dr. DeNoble is very familiar with, and it's a <laughs> shoulder. So if we put it on the shoulder, can you feel anything right now? Yeah, I can feel something. I can kind of feel it going. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like a little wing. Like it's, it's different than the other one, actually. It doesn't feel great, like even as uncomfortable there. I also like to do this. I also, this is not going to hurt you. I put it close to your face. Oh, wow. What do you, what do you feel? You can feel like a little... Like a tingly something, thing, right? Yeah. yeah. But then if we put it on our, in his hand, how does it feel like No. Nothing. But here's my little experiment. I'd like to show this to people. So like we said, this is... Magnetic energy turns into electrical energy. I'm gonna just close the light here for a second. And oh my god, oh, <laughs> that's alarming. Pretty dramatic, right? Oh, because of the uh, metal. The yeah. metal, yeah. So there's real stuff going on. There's real energy <laughs> that's going the, through there. Proves so the reality of it. Yeah, and I think that's kind of a neat thing. I'm gonna have Dr. Noble stay on his belly. Right. I'm gonna come back here, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna focus this right on his helicopter area. And when you do this, it doesn't have to be touching right on it, um, but we like to, to put it right in that spot and uh, we keep it there for about a good five to six minutes. Um, and all that energy is being transferred right back to that tissue. It almost makes everything we did beforehand, um, it just accelerates everything. It makes things uh, feel a little bit better. It's like a cherry on top. Right? Now, does, does that mean that like, do you think that this will allow you to treat fewer times I've noticed that since doing the, the magnet that it's definitely decreased the amount. And the more important thing is that patients start to feel better sooner. Mm. Um, you, you, usually when we do shockwave, we tell patients it might take up until about three months until you really feel the difference. I find now with this, patients are saying right off the bat that they feel a significant improvement. So what's nice about that is that the patient buys into the, the treatment plan as well. You know, they're like, oh yeah, I definitely feel a difference. I want to keep going. You know, when you tell someone, yeah, you're going to feel better in three months, sometimes right. they get like a little suspect about that. But if they can feel better and um, quicker, it's great. So right. this has been a great tool to add to the toolbox, um, especially for active individuals. And so, just, just to be clear, right, there's no injections, there's no like anesthetic, there's nothing like that. You just come in and you just kind of do these things right on top of the skin. That's right, it's right on top of it. The only thing with the magnet, the thing you have to make sure is that the patient does not have a pacemaker. Mm -hmm. um, Cause that obviously would alter things. Um, we want to make sure that they don't have any other metallic implants that are not MRI compatible. Yeah. Um, m most, most things that we implant nowadays are, so that's really not the problem. If you want to make sure with women that they don't have an IUD, um, because that can cause an issue as well. Um, but all in all, it's, it's pretty safe, very safe. Um, and you know, even for uh, pregnant women, they said that you know, there, there's really no study that says you can't do it. I personally would wait. Um, but yeah, for all in all, it's, uh, it's, it's a very, very safe modality. Uh, so almost to the fact that um, it's kind of silly not to do it.
So we're getting to the point now, Doc, we're almost at the end of it. And have you felt anything on this at all? This one I haven't felt really at all. Which is interesting, right? Because you felt it on your shoulder when we did it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You saw the I saw sparks. sparks. <laughs> So it's real, it's just a matter of uh, how it feels afterwards. So as soon as we finish up here, we're gonna have Doc maybe do some of those eccentrics and see how it feels when he stresses it. So what's your activities that you usually do, Doc? Are you, are you a runner, are you? Uh, I'm a, uh, you know, uh, I wish I was more active. I, I, have a whole, I had a whole phase where we had like a trainer and I was working out a lot at home. Uh, I've done a lot, I've tried to start up a few different times recently, doing some just some 20 minutes of, uh, you know, like core exercises, some weightlifting, uh, but mostly like, you know, jumping in the gym and, and doing different things like that. Uh, I do like hiking, um, you know, especially when we go away on vacation, but like, uh, I, should, I really wish I could get out more just day to day, but. How about when you do your surgeries? Are you standing or are you sitting? Uh, combination of both. Um, a lot of times I'm sitting. Um, but it doesn't it doesn't bother me when I'm when I'm in the OR. It's more about that other those other times. Yeah. Yeah. Let's have Doc stand up and maybe see how it feels if he goes up on his toes. Doc's back. And if you were to do those eccentrics, like do it really slow. So like this. Up to you and slowly come down. How's that feel? Fine. No, no, no problem, yeah, right? It's not bad at all. So so that's a combination of what we do for patients with Achilles tendinosis. Uh, or scarring of that Achilles tendon. We try to do all these different modalities. We educate the patient. Usually we'll tell the patient we like you to do this um, about four times. And during that time, patients will start to feel the improvement as the tissue heals. And it continues to heal over another three months after that. So thanks so much, Doc. Thank you, Doc. Gentlemen. I appreciate it. All right, perfect. <laughs> thanks.